Okay, friends, welcome to day one coverage. We're just a few minutes away from the 2023 Willow 300 sled dog race here in Willow, Alaska. The first team up is right here, bib number two, Matt Randall. And as you can tell, the dogs are fired up. Conditions in Willow, about 30 degrees. 300 mile race. Remember to let us know where you're from and who you're cheering for. Also let us know if you've been to Alaska before. Hey, 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 hey. We got our volunteers up there. We got a little bit of a uh, Thing up front. Here's what it's going to look like with the snow machine. Thanks for being our helper. A lot of work, right? Trying to find all 25 teams back and forth. <laughs> okay, so the snow machine will help out. That'll be attached to the sled, and then they'll lead the teams out. So that's what's going on here. We're going to be. Uh, here's our start order for the first couple teams here, folks. You can see them all getting set up in the parking lot. There we go. Matt Randall, Jason Mackey, Travis Vanderhoof, Anna Hennessy, Julia Loach. That's your first five bibs, two-minute intervals. It's not a mass start this year. And dogs do get pretty excited and fired up. Okay, brother. There we go. We got the Randall family. You met Eddie in the other day, right? How are ya? You excited for your dad? Oh. All right. There it is, bib number two, folks. Getting ready to head to the start line. First team, welcome to day one, Willow 300, 2023. The, the route will be from here to Sioux Landing North, 66 miles to the Sioux Landing North. From Sioux Landing, it'll go to Sheep Creek Lodge. Thank you, Sheep Creek. From Sheep Creek Lodge, Forks Roadhouse. From Forks Roadhouse, up to Trapper Creek Three Bears. And from Trapper Creek Three Bears, back down to Willow Community Center. Again, there's our snow machine helping out. Once they transfer over from the snow machine, they go to hooks. You got the race officials and handlers. Look at all these handlers helping out. And we're back on. We are back on. All right, two minutes to race time, folks. Turn up the volume. There's Jim right there from Three Bears helping out our race sponsor. Thanks again. There's Matt. Team number two. There's the tracker, folks. Remember, trackleaders.com. The tracker lives right there, and that's how you follow them online. So trackleaders.com. Look at these beautiful wheel dogs. Are you so excited? Yeah. All right, we'll go to the front. There we go. All right, there's the official start, folks. There's the Three Bears sign off to your right, our official big sponsor for the race. Thank you so much for all your encouragement. Let us know if you've been to Willow. Have you been to the Willow Lake before? Let us know. If you have, that's our beautiful new library and community center. It's gorgeous. This is where the Iditarod restart is. 
And this is where 25 dog teams will leave over the next hour, two minute intervals, 66 miles to the first checkpoint. So great to be back with you all. Great to have our sled dog community here. We have moderators online. We have experienced champions online. We have folks who can help answer questions while I'm doing the announcing here. So appreciate the whole community that comes together. Again, we don't care who wins. We want dogs to have a great time. And there it goes. First team out. Look at that. We got some crowd here. How beautiful. First team is out, folks. Let's get them going across the lake. There they go. Matt Randall, bib number two. Okay, there we go. I'm finding my footing here. We got kind of chunky, weird rain, snow on top of a hard pack. And then we got a freeze on top of that. We had 45 degrees yesterday, folks. Okay, we got another team coming in. Look at all that energy. Holy moly. You can just see these dogs thought they were starting at 9. Now they're starting at 10. All right, this is going to be Jason Mackey here. It's so good to see so many last names of family members and friends. We got Jason Mackey, bib number three coming up. Patrick, his son up front. Patrick and Jason lost. Uh, well, Jason lost his brother. Patrick lost his uncle, of course, when Lance passed. So the family's been mourning and trying to carry on the tradition. You can see Patrick uh, going to line them out. I'm trying to give you the best look here, folks. Number two minute intervals. Bib number three, Patrick Mackey from right here in Knick, Alaska. You can see right now, no necklines on the lead dogs, but let's see if he connects it together. Look at those personalities. Look at Jason, he's got the brake on heavy there. He's got the brake on. You gotta really slow him down coming down. They wanna move. And there they go. Jason Mackey, bed number three, heading out on Willow Lake. Beautiful Willow Lake. And boy, that team looked like they are having a blast. It's so much fun to look at the camera and see 14 dogs just bouncing like crazy. Of course, their minds sometimes are getting a little crazy in their own way. They really want to go. And Bob just noticed uh, no booties on this first bit for the lead dogs. Uh, Jason, no stranger to tons of distance, so he must have a, uh, a reasoning there on. Uh, and then necklines, uh, some folks rely on them, some folks don't. Um, necklines in some races, depending on where you are in the world, are required, and uh, in other, they're not. So, uh, for example, sprint events at the International Federation level, all sorts of sprint events, necklines are always required. Uh, but distance events, it's a different deal. There's Care Bear and Lynn, if you can believe it. Okay, we've got Travis Vanderhoof, our neighbor who moved up from Wisconsin with his wife a couple years ago, moved right into the neighborhood. And Travis is right here looking great. There he is. Yeah, Travis. Right on, looking great. All right, it's great to see him so mellow, relaxed. Look at these beautiful dogs. We'll go ahead and give you a good look at them. Hey. Lots of folks helping out. Look at this guy. He's just like, get me down this trail. I want this trail. <laughs> yeah.
Wow, there he goes. That's the third team out, folks. Bib number four, Travis Vanderhoof. So we're starting to get our rhythm on here. Two-minute intervals. Teams leave from the community center across the lake and head north. Their eventual first checkpoint will be Sioux Landing, 66 trail miles. For us folks following the race, we drive up the highway to mile, what is that, 80-something, and we take a left at Sioux Landing. And the gals who run the roadhouse down there are awesome. Look at that, so there goes. Okay, bib number five. We've got Anna Hennessy, one of the Annas. The Annas have been working at Kathleen Frederick's kennel and Emily's helping to handle up front. So these are Kathleen Frederick dogs. There goes Anna, nice and controlled on her break. Anna Hennessy, one of the Annas. Again, you can follow the Annas online on Instagram. They are working for Kathleen Frederick, and they are getting a lot of miles on these days at races, Copper Basin, Kinnick, and of course, where they live in Caswell, right next to Bad Manners Kennel. My business partner, Carrie Pavlat's kennel is right next to Kathleen, so we get to see their dogs and hear their dogs a lot. And there they go. Nice, beautiful, happy team heading across Willow Lake on day one of the Willow 300. That was bib number five, the fourth team to head out. Two-minute intervals. And so our next bib is going to be Julia Deloach, our neighbor and friend, Julia Deloach, bib number six. Julia and her partner put a lot of work in, small uh, group taking care of their dogs, just the two of them. And so it's great to see a real, true, hardworking, badass local out here year after year making it happen. It's hard. Uh, so if you can sponsor somebody, help somebody out with some dog food or meat, I'm sure it'd be appreciated. The costs have just gone up so much. So here you go. Bib number six, Julia's team. Let's zoom in there for you. Bouncing happy sled dogs want to go. <laughs> yeah, Julia. And remember, the mushers and their families watch this feed, so it's kind of like a scrapbook for them. All year cheering, and they get to watch that later. Let's go, let's go. Great job, Julia. Look at that nice focus. She's got her good sled set up. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on her. She crosses the lake. And Julia Deloach, bib number six, Willow 300 on the trail, waving to fans. There's Willow Lake down there. Happy dogs. Magic carpet. Yeah, pretty warm. We're about 30 degrees. Thanks so much, everybody. I'm um, trying to get you the best shots as always. Appreciate the support, saving up for drone and dealing with life in Willow. We've got our business we're running. We've got a lot of things happening. So I'm only good for today. At midnight, I got to fly tonight, take care of some things. So I'll be back next week. But I do love you all and I appreciate you all. I'm saving up for a drone. And as soon as I can get a drone, I'm going to put a lot more footage, aerial footage up. All right. Bib 
Number seven, Eric Kelly here, folks. Eric Kelly, who we saw in the pregame. He's been building his kennel over the years with his wife, family. There she is. Hi. Look at you, happy guy. Eric Kelly from right down the road. Yeah, you get so excited you want to nip your friend, huh? Look at this guy. I like the ones that are focused. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that beautiful shot here. Look at that. Eric Kelly, daybreak motion right here, yep. Really nice to see over the years. Oh, you're a good dog. There goes Eric, looking good on the break. Taking nice and steady out of the chute. And then he'll cross that leg nice and controlled. And he'll want to get the dogs into a, a nice pace right off the bat. These are local trails for most of the mushers. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of the mushers live in this area or have trained in this area. Yeah, we got Dee here. We got our whole uh, mushing family. There goes, let me take two more steps over. There goes Eric Kelly crossing the lake. And again, I've personally witnessed Eric build his kennel with his family from nothing. And when we first started selling gear here years ago, he was helping out somewhere else. Now he's got his own team, and I just can't tell you what that means. That's so impressive, so hard. All right, the first twin, Christy Barrington, bib number eight. So we got the two twins next, Christy and Anna, seeing double sled dog racing. I did rods for Christy. I think she's been on 12 I did rods. And uh, they train in Kinnick, right behind the Kinnick Lake. So if you watch the 200, their house is just right nearby. Beautiful, handsome, big, strong Alaskan Huskies here. Look at them all. Beautiful, handsome, big, strong dogs. Yep, Christy's up first. Christy Barrington, here we go. And then followed by her sister, Anna. Christy's husband, Andy, will be here afterwards. I'll try to get him on interview. Andy and I, as you'll recall, went to Nome together a couple years back. So it's always nice to check in with a trail helper commentary. Look at that, just nice and... Go get him, Christy! There she goes. Always a smile. Right there, Christy Barrington, scene double twin number one. Anna's getting set up right behind us. There they go. They've been breaking into the top 20 of Iditarod the last couple of years. They've entertained doing A team and B team, but they always seem to end up mushing together. <laughs> It's just a, every time I talk to Andy about it, he's like, well, they always end up together. Um, they just love to be together. So here's Anna coming up in the shoot. Again, big thanks to Three Bears and Dr. Carson's and Sheep Creek and Trapper Creek Three Bears for the checkpoints here at the Willow Community Center. All the race organizers, the vets. Oh, my God, the vets. Vet checks all day yesterday in the warmth. Here comes Anna's team. Beautiful lead dogs, look at that guy. Hi. Look at you. Whole bunch of helpers. Takes a village here. Here comes Andy. I just told you about. Look at all these. Oh boy. You get right to it, huh? Oh yeah, look at how strong and big that lead dog is. 
You are a big dog. Go get him, Anna. There she goes. Nice and steady. You can see the snowshoes sitting out the back of her sled, all the required gear on board. Axe, snowshoes, booties, blankets, food. Just like I did, Rod, you got to carry your proper gear to be on the trail. And that's checked at the checkpoints and especially at the end. There goes Anna Barrington seeing double. How exciting. So Christy and Anna just went out. Conditions are feeling good, folks. It's nice and cool. Sorry about the camera moving around there. Becky Hacker up next, bib number 10. Becky, our friend and neighbor. Awesome wait staff for Sheep Creek over the last couple of years. She does night tours for Alaska Mushing School up in Caswell. Our uh, vacation rental clients the other day went up and had a nice night mush. And then right after that, it rained. <laughs> Seize the moment. All right, Becky Hacker, bib number 10, lives in Caswell. She actually uh, ended up buying the land that uh, Dallas and Jen had built their yurts on. So during the Dallas CV Champion days, uh, Becky Hacker bought that property. So it came with the yurts and the trails and everything else. So it's pretty cool. Another female musher who's making ends meet somehow. Thanks for joining us, everybody. You're looking at bib number 10, two-minute intervals, Willow 300, day number one, Becky Hacker. Beautiful-looking lead dogs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you just see him. Yeah, Becky. Way to go, Becky. Everybody's proud of her. Again, a lot of us see her at Cheap Creek. Working there at the lodge, waving to all her fans and friends. Beautiful looking dog team. Dog team gets a lot of miles, nice and calm. There they go, riding the carpet. That's the dream someday, right folks? Just ride that dog carpet, look at that. Floating on out into the Alaska landscape. Crossing through trails, past lakes, links lake around houses, around to different areas. Look at all the fans here. See all this? We got a lot of people here today, folks. Again, thanks to Three Bears for being the major sponsor and elevating the purse and making this race more attractive to meet the high costs. Of mushing these days and yes Dee Dee's up in the pink dress so there are folks who know what Dee Dee looks like there she is helping out all right bib number 11 is going to be Michaela O'Connor here Michaela O'Connor let's go look at oh boy they are ready to go aren't they Michaela O'Connor, folks, bib number 11. There she goes, look at that big smile. Happy, happy musher there. A lot of relief to get your team all together and out on a trail. Great feeling. It takes a lot to train up for this race. This is no small deal here, folks. The first run is 66 miles. That's out to Sioux. Get there by about four or five in the afternoon and camp your dogs. And you're heading off into the night up to Sheep Creek. Then you're heading off after some rest there over to Forks. And then you're 
heading over to Trapper and then back down to Willow. So that's going to be the next couple days. You'll follow along on trackleaders.com. Uh, again, that's how you follow. And there goes Michaela O'Connor. All right, next team's coming right in. Let's try to find you the best shot. I love the visual feast. Look at that. Happy dogs. Let's go right in on them. Let's go right like that. Looking down the barrel of a fully loaded dog team there, folks. Thanks for joining us from West Palm Beach. Susie and Sunny from Northern Illinois. So good to have you all. Here's Calvin Doherty. Thank you, folks, for the bids. Calvin uh, is working with the CV, Dallas CV Kennel. And his father has run Iditarod. All right, so there you go. That's what the barrel of a loaded dog team looks like. And now the side view, so we're out of their way. They're not quite to the start line. See the little caution there? They can come up. All right, Nada joining us in Maine and Lisa from Austin, Texas. It's wonderful. Desta from Eastern Ohio. Great to have you all here. Welcome to Dog Paradise. Willow, Alaska, mushing capital of the world. I live three miles up from right here. Right on, Calvin. Looking good. There goes Calvin Doherty heading out. Hopefully his father and family are tuning in with a live around the rebroadcast. This lives as the scrapbook for the race, official coverage for the Willow 300. It's an honor to be invited here by Chris, our race organizer, and help out. I've got to fly tonight at midnight, so I can't be here the rest of the race, but I'm so, so glad to be here. My hometown now, we live, Alaska Dog Center, where I live is just up the road. Our dogs are right up the road. My business partner's here, and our employee, Lynn, and we're all helping out. A little reunion here on the highway. Uh, the Parks Highway is just 100 yards past us right now, so we're just off the road system. Thanks, Meg, for joining from New Zealand. I love New Zealand. And Colleen from New Hampshire, how cool. We got Teclanica from Wisconsin. All right, James Wheeler, a veteran rolling in on the feed. Millie Porcel, uh, I did our Rookie of the Year a couple years ago, my closest neighbor across the street. This is the closest kennel to us right now that's in the race. Milla is right here. And she has an unusual harnessing setup. More of that Eastern Mongolian Russian style of, or Northern Greenland. Look at those styles. Caribou fur, different pulling style. Great looking team. And I'll give you a shot at the slide here. There she goes. Listen to that crowd going nuts for Milla. <laughs> I know at the very uh, earlier this morning we had that little race delay. Milla, it threw off her schedule but looks like she got it all back together i'm going to tiptoe out to get you the magic carpet view here there we go magic carpet dogs on the lake dogs on the lake and more dogs coming up in the chute we got 12 bit number 12 up next <clears throat> oh there's a little bit of delay in getting them up here oh sorry bit number 15 up next jonah bacon folks jonah bacon you can hear the snow machine up there. And here's the whole process. It's a little procession sometimes. Again, if you're ever in Alaska, come by these races. Be an observer. Support the local clubs. Meet everybody. Maybe even get to help handle, hold a dog like that. Look at how many people it takes. Yep, Jonah Bacon, thank you. Right on, Truda from Ohio. Love it. If you've been to Willow right here, let us know. We've had a major upgrade. Our building here is now beautiful. There's our three bear sign thanking our sponsor. There's the new library. It just looks amazing. It gives us a lot of pride. 
needless to say, Willow's been through some things last couple years, all the fires, so it's great to have. Oh, you got a poopy, huh? Okay, well, let's give you some privacy. We got a little poopy there. Our lead dog just decided to drop a deuce. Yeah, maybe we can scoot that out of the way. Look at this, nice and calm. Jonah, Jonah in a... There we go, we got the poop out of the way. That's what it looks like, boom. And heading off and just a nice little flannel shirt kind of showing you the temperatures here, about 30s. Mushers build up a whole lot of heat inside their systems though. They get, their metabolisms get all fired up. So when you see a musher come to a checkpoint, they're usually steaming when they take their parka off. There we go. There's Joe on a magic carpet ride on the lake. All right. Dane has uh, got the ticker up there, bib 16, Jonathan Hayes up next. We'll go ahead and zoom out, swing it around, walk back. We're about halfway, just a little over halfway through our our 300 and then there'll be a short break and we'll get the 150s on the trail. The difference between the 300 and the 150 is that the 150 mushers go to Sioux Landing and they, they take their mandatory 10 right there. So if you're looking to get into mushing and learn, uh, the, the shorter races at these professional events are the best. Uh, they really give you a chance in a safe setting, no pressure. Nobody cares who wins. We all want to see happy dogs. Happy, happy, happy dogs. Great dog care, good feeding, good resting, massaging, whatever it takes. That's what we want to see out here. All right, Jonathan's got some fans, of course. Right on. Let's get up there. There's Mitch right there. Yeah, Mitch. There he is. Oh, there you go. Jonah running the CB team here. Look at that. We got a nice close-up on that dog team. I always like when those camera angles work out. Uh, and we can eat from the buffet of happy sled dogs and watch them. There we go. The magic carpet heading around. And let's swing it back. And here they come. It's just like clockwork. This race organization has really got this dialed. There's Jonathan Hayes. Or sorry, Dan Caduce. Dan. Yep. Oh, look at you guys. You're good. You gonna bouncy bounce? Let's do the bouncy bounce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna keep them in order. Oh, you're so excited, you can hardly stand it, huh? Here we go, Dan, up. Dee Dee making sure all the dogs stay in order there. It's because they get so excited they can't stand it, huh? They can't. Look at how handsome you are. Right on. Thanks for joining us, Dee Dee the Rescue. There we go, getting the team lined out. Dan K. Deuce. Right here, Bib 17. Just a handful more teams, folks. And there he goes. Right down the hill, he's got his brake on, nice. Hey, Latitza, good to see you, everybody online. There goes Dan, let's get the magic carpet for Dan. 
I'm swinging way out here. There he goes. 66 miles up to the Big Sioux landing. And that'll be the first stop. Uh, that'll be about four or five today. Sunset's pushing closer to five these days, believe it or not. Sunrise, 9.40-ish, 9.30-something. So we're starting to see our return. We're just keeping an eye on these warmer temperatures. We really got warm starting yesterday. Keaton Lobich right now. Keaton up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful skinny white dog up there. Lead dog. Wow. Beautiful. All right, Keaton here. Hi, guys. You the... Right on. Thanks, everybody, for moderating. Look at this. this is the lightest coated dog team I think we've had out here today. I would say, look at how pretty you are. Wow. Oh, yeah. You're... You look... You are so cute. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. They are ready to go. They're ready to get in their rhythm. They're ready to get their run on. Their VO2 max these days is probably 150, depending on their level of training. Pushing twice as much as any human, if not more. There goes Keaton. Right on. All right. How cool is that? So exciting, huh, Erica? So exciting. Erica's staying at our vacation rental, taking care of business. You're yep. So you're going to sleep, or what are you going to do? Uh, probably not. It's too much excitement. <laughs> it's too, okay, exactly. <laughs> so once the dog team heads out, for the handler, everything just begins. The clock starts ticking on when they need to be where. What chores they need to do to get ready for that. Okay, now this is officially the lightest team that we've seen. What's up, partner? So we got we got Mike Parker running the whites. There you go. If you're wondering what the, the whitest, lightest team is, we got the Northern Whites here. We got Hugh Neff up front. Okay. Ken and Tootsie. Hugh Neff just said, Ken and Tootsie, best leaders in Alaska. There they are. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get in position here. Let's get the banner in there. There's three bears supporting us. You and Dee catching up there. All right, I see a hook coming up. Ken and Toots, as Hugh says, the best leaders in Alaska right there up front. Here we go. All right. And there go the Northern Whites, and they are Jim Lanier's dogs. Dr. Lanier has retired from running in these events. Saw him at the Knick and his wife. They're doing well. He looks like he's in good health, just at that point where, I mean, he, he, he's an octogenarian, right? Look at that. There you go. There go the Northern Whites on their magic carpet ride. Let's swing it around. Bring it in. And we got the next team coming up. It's going to be Laura Kittleson, bid number 20. So let me show you the next bit of order here. And then we'll go right to the dog. So there's your next bit of order to finish out the uh, two-minute intervals. Hey, Noah, thanks for joining us here. We're on bib number 20 right now. 
So we've got about six teams to go. Two minute intervals. Conditions have been great. Cloudy day. The rain kind of firmed up. And here we go. They're getting ready to go any second now. Laura Kittleson here. She goes running the CV team number two, heading out. Laura, good clean start. Let's see how she does in the lake. We got five more teams, folks. So stay tuned. We still have Travis Beals, Nick Petit. There she is waving to friends. Looking good. Yep, Mitch has two teams in this race. There they go on the carpet. All right, swinging back around to our start. We have Hunter Keefe up next, running Ramey Reddington, Barmer Ramey's team out of Knick. Hunter has put in his time. He works hard, good friend of ours, neighbor. We love seeing Hunter and Jesse. During our first season at the cafe this summer, they would come by and get late night milkshakes and mush the dog team by on four-wheeler training it was just awesome bring them by twos threes all of them whoop okay hunter's a little bit long there look at that rainy reddington lines here darker dogs and that beautiful red brown goes Hunter getting the hook in. Nice man, that dog was running in place. I care. Here we go, there goes Hunter out on the magic carpet. Willow Lake. Fun fact about Willow Lake, it's not very deep folks. I kayak around here all the time in the summer. That's my evening therapy and these lakes are very shallow, you'd be surprised. There's actually an island out there, probably right around there too, um, that gets covered up by snow anyway. Come to Alaska and grab a boat at our place and go check out these lakes. It's really fun. Eagles, loons, all sorts of beautiful wildlife. In the winter, the mushers go right over it. And I did will be using this exact location here in just a few weeks. There goes Hunter, folks. And then we got our countdown. The last few teams are up. Joshua Robbins, Outreach 22, another local that I've watched put together their entire team and start as a handler helper and now has a kennel, dogs, lines, harnesses, sleds, buckets, ladles, everything in the world. And it takes a lot. Joshua Robbins, Outreach 22, right here, good looking dog team. See, some dogs like to chew on their lines. They get so excited. They're like, give me something to chew on. I'm losing it here. So, um, 
The other CV team was uh, Mike Parker. I do believe. Okay, so this is Josh Robbins right here. We got the online question. I think somebody's help you with that. Yeah, Josh. Go get him, buddy. Look at that. He's got a fully formed kennel now. Just in the last 12, 18 months, too. He's taken out a lot of work. And as you'll recall, Outreach 22 is a suicide prevention in veterans. 22 veterans a day on average take their own lives. Josh served our nation in Afghanistan and Iraq. And he's a leader of an organization that tries to keep veterans engaged, inspired, filled with hope, winning the battle at home, as he says. Uh, so they'll be bringing up veterans to work with the sled dogs. And we certainly hope to host them at the Alaska Dog Center on our Super Dog Adventure Park there, where everybody can work safely and we don't have to worry about loose dogs because it's all fenced. And people can learn and harness and experience in a safe place. All right. Here we go. Joanna Weber. Joanna's your gal. Now, Joanna Weber, congratulations. Right here from Fairbanks with the blue team. Let's go take. I know. <laughs> here we go. Joanna Jagow, now Joanna Weber here. Motley Crew Kennel. There we go. Yeah, thanks for helping clarify that stuff, folks. Three generations of CV over the years, right? Mitch, Dallas, and their dad. Lots of CV dogs everywhere. Most of our dogs are CV lines. There we go. There we go. Joanne on the trail. She's got her camping straw in case she wants to take a break on the way to Sue. There we go. Joanna Jagow now, Joanna Weber. Out across Willow Lake, looking good. So some mushers bring straw, some mushers don't bring straw. The straw allows you to park your team, keep them warm, let them have a nice little rest. Uh, some mushers probably are looking at the daytime temperature and where they are in their training and saying, you know what, it makes more sense for me to really be cautious. Uh, especially if the temps bump up in the 30s. Okay. Nick Petit, bib number 24. Only two more teams, Nick and Travis. So here we go, Nick Petit. Again, Nick does not use necklines. So you'll see that. Uh, except for his leads today do have a neckline. All right. So the lead dogs have a neckline. The rest don't. <laughs> Nick calling out some commands. Previous winner, always a contender. Okay, here we go. Nick Petit heading out, bib number 24. He's throwing high fives. He's got his setup on, and Nick knows how to win 300s. He's one of the more dominant 300 mushers in Alaska last five years, just winning, winning, winning. His, uh, he calls them his girls. His girls know how to run, and he knows how to camp them, and he's super efficient. So he can probably maintain slightly faster speed than other teams, but then he's also super efficient. So that combination is where you win if you're going for that. Uh, again, I don't care who wins. I want good dog care. 
Um, dog carries the key. So Travis Beals here. Travis and Sarah live both here and down in Seward, where they have their Turning Heads helicopter mush operation tour area. And it's great when they're up in Willow training because we like to see our neighbors. In the summer, lots of folks go away. I go fight fire, they go do their tour stuff. And then in the winter, more people are home, which is great. Because our trails are phenomenal. All the community work that goes into them. These guys have had to wait a full hour, imagine. <laughs> These dogs have had to be very patient. Oh, you're beautiful. You're just beautiful. You're just gorgeous. Look at that mind. What's going on in that dog's mind? Give me the trail. Give me the trail. <laughs> I was born for this. Let me show you what I can do. Those are all the thoughts going through this dog's head right now. Okay, last team, day one. Yeah, Travis, there he goes. Last team to head out, cheer from the crowd. Big hoot and hollering going on there. Okay, and the magic carpet for Travis. I saw him training the other day, he put a video up uh, on my YouTube. He was uh, running his team towards Kashwitna Lake up the Parks Highway West Side. It was just beautiful. Just the magic carpet of dogs, Travis cruising along, afternoon light. You know, Denali out is just like another day in the life of Willow, but super cool to see the dogs in their rhythm and everybody doing their thing. So here we go. Yeah, thanks so much. I've got to, uh, I'll zoom out here and kind of do a little closer here. So that's day one of the Willow 300. It started one hour late and I believe that helped them get the trackers on. So um, trackleaders.com is where you're gonna go to follow the, uh, the mushers.